and welcome back. I hope everybody's doing okay out there today. Now the resin project I'm gonna be doing today is some crystals. Now I've drawn up some little inserts to stick inside them, so stay tuned to see how it turns out. So I have my food safe, no toxic resin, glove one and glove two. So I have four different silicone mold here for the quote unquote crystals. And I made these cute little different colored inserts that I'm going to be putting into half of the little crystals. Here are the meek patterns that will be matching the corresponding insert colors. Now it's time to add one part resin into your little mixing container. Don't forget to clean it off very well before you pop that cap back on. Now it's time for one part hardener. And once again, just clean it really well. Before you start mixing, press start on your timer. Now, when you are mixing this, make sure you do it very slowly. If you watched my last video, you know that mixing quickly creates an intense amount of bubbles that you do not want and they're impossible to get out of your creation. I then added my Mika powder to my mixture. Once again, just make sure you're mixing slow when integrating the color in. And once you're done, it should just be one cohesive color. Now, when I was pretty darn happy with how my mixture was looking, it was now time to pour it into the silicone mold. Now, at this point, I only wanted to fill up half of the silicone mold, so there would be space to embed that cute little pattern that I made earlier. Now, at this point, I also did kind of move around the resin to make sure it was in the exact spot I wanted. Then after that, I did lay it on its side to cure for a couple hours, and then proceeded to do the same with the rest of the colors. for a few hours and now it's become tacky and ready for the paper inserts. So what I did for these inserts was take some needle nose tweezers, slide the piece of paper into the silicone mold, and then I press the paper firmly against the tacky resin so it would grab hold and then not move later when we add that clear resin to fill up the rest of that mold. At this point, I did realize that my paper was a little bit too big for those silicone molds, so I did trim just a little bit off of each side with some scissors and it ended up fitting awesome. those silicone molds, one part resin and one part hardener. Set your timer and now it's time to mix very slowly for three whole minutes. Now it's time to fill up all of the little silicone molds the rest of the way up with your resin concoction. In 10 minutes, we get rid of those bubbles. Now to avoid yellowing or discoloration, just make sure you are very quick with the torch. Make sure you cover them and wait 72 hours and then we get to reveal them. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to reveal these babies. So let's see how I did. All right, you guys, so here they are. I did unmold them off of camera because I was struggling quite a bit to get these out of the mold. I apparently did not 
Put equal parts resin in equal parts hardener. Because these have been setting for the amount of time they should be hard and they're bendy. But that being said, they were hard enough for me to be able to pull out, so I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. And I'll bring them up close to you guys. I honestly love them. I think they're so friggin' adorable. So here is the flower one. All right, so here is what that one looks like. So this one, as you can see on the side, it has a cool little line, exactly how I wanted it. The back is that cute little purple. Again, the side has the half and half, and the front is a cute little flowers. I freaking love these. I just thought of this idea and they ended up turning out super cute. So let's look at the other ones. Here is the rectangle orange one. This one's super cool. I like the tapered look. Very fun, and I like that it kind of has a little bit at the bottom kind of coming up there, almost like a little ombre fade. And again, the sides look halved, the back is orange, the side is halved, and the front has the cute freaking rectangles. I freaking love them. Now here is the red hearts. Looks a little bit different because this is a hexagon shape, so you can kind of see it's got that crystal vibe. There's what it fully looks like. And again, you know, the side has the taper, the back has the nice pinky red, the side has the taper, and the front has the hearts and the little fade. I f***ing love them. Absolutely adorable. And last but not least, this one is actually my favorite. I love this one. It's like little tiny leaves. Now this one is kind of like a uh, little diamond shaped, so it again has that kind of interesting crystal aspect to it. But again, you know, the side is tapered, the back has green, the side is tapered, and the front is a little bit of fade and the design. I absolutely freaking love these guys. These turned out so much better than the last ones. I know they are not completely solid, but the look is amazing. What I needed to fix for last time was bubbles and layers, and I think I freaking nailed it on this one, you guys. Next time, I definitely have to pay attention to the amount of hardener resin I'm putting in. I didn't have any problem with that before, and the other resin things I have done, I didn't have a problem with. It must have been just a lapse of judgment when I make this one specific. But overall, you guys, I think they are freaking adorable. These will look amazing just on your little windowsill on your kitchen. So let me know down in the comments below, which one is your freaking favorite? I really like the green one. I am obsessed with anything green, so that one is definitely my favorite. But honestly, all of them are awesome. So this was a success. Alright you guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make some cute little DIY crystals with some paper inserts. Now I know that they were kind of a jelly consistency, so next time I just have to make double sure that I did equal amounts. I honestly thought I did and honestly it was just a genuine mistake in the moment. Because honestly the other times I've used resin it has worked out perfectly. Another issue that could be is that where I'm letting it set up does not have a consistent temperature. So those are definitely things for the next video that I'm going to improve on. But so far we've improved on getting rid of bubbles and making awesome layers. So everything is just going to look up from here. And every time I make a mistake, it just makes me so much more determined to make it even better next time. So I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day and I will see you guys next time for something cool that ends up hopefully working out.